Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you a really awesome Adobe Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition workflow for your audio. Okay, so when we're editing video, often we need to focus in on the audio. Premiere is really good at so many things, including a lot of audio tricks, but Adobe Audition simply does them a lot better. And sometimes you really need to get into detail. So here, I'm gonna zoom in on this and this particular area here, I've got an audio clip. Meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting and YouTube. So there I'm speaking, you can see my video clip, that's brilliant. Maybe I want to edit a specific piece of audio. I'll show you how to do the overall mix later on in this video, but say I want to edit this specific piece of audio when I'm speaking to camera there, I can actually right click and I can look here for edit clip in Adobe Audition. What this will do is render out this clip and pop it straight into Adobe Audition for me to edit. Meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting and YouTube with the WLM Plus meter. This is one of the fantastic things about Adobe apps is they all link together using something called Dynamic Link. So I can quickly go from Premiere Pro into Adobe Audition and straight away make my edits. So meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting and YouTube. Maybe, and let's do an extreme example here, I want to pitch shift this. So time and pitch, I don't know why I'd ever want to do this, uh, and then move it down a couple of semitones. Meet Loudness. Let's move Meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting and YouTube. And maybe. Meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting and YouTube. Maybe I want to get rid of YouTube as well. YouTube. So let's affect, uh, let's reverse that in fact. Okay, so now we've got. Meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting and with the WLM <laughs> plus meter. You could use that to maybe uh, reverse an expletive or something like that. Now. Brilliant thing about Dynamic Link, when I finish doing my edits to that particular waveform in Adobe Audition, I go into File and Save, and before you can get back into Premiere Pro, zoop, you will notice that zoop, it's made the edit and the update to your audio automatically for you. Seamless integration between apps here uh, in Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's play back. Meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting and with the WLM Plus meter. Now, obviously, that sounds completely ridiculous, but it gives you an idea how fast you can quickly go in and edit one individual piece of audio. I'm going to actually undo those changes and save back, back into Premiere Pro, and it should be restored now. Let's hope. Meet Loudness Standards for Podcasting. And it is. Thank goodness for that. Okay, so that's how you edit individual clips. That's a great workflow when you're working on your video and you say, ah, there's a bit of noise there. There's something I need to get rid of there. Something I need to change very quickly. Right click, edit clip in Adobe Audition. Away you go. But what if you want to edit the overall mix, everything that's going on, your dialogue, your music tracks, your sound effects tracks, everything, and uh, then mix that back out to your overall video? Well, you can easily do that. Uh, and this is up in the edit menu here. And down here, you've got edit in Adobe Audition. And rather than clip this time, we're going for sequence. And what it's going to do, you can call this anything. I might just leave it as it is. Everything can be left as default. Click OK. It's going to copy over all your settings, including volume automations you've made, pan automations you've made, any presets or audio effects that you've put in inside Premiere. And it's going to generate you an Adobe Audition multi-track of your Premiere Pro. Like that. There you go. You can see. And you can actually see all my volume automations are here included. Everything is here. All of the presets and plugins I've put, they're over here in my effects rack. Really seamless integration. And I've also got the video window uh, with my video happening as well at the same time. So I can make little changes. Maybe I want to do some little uh, crossfades here. Maybe I want to fade there and fade there and make all of those changes. Maybe I want to make this bit of speech a little bit louder. Well, you can do all of this. It's just simple audio editing in the Adobe Audition multitrack. Much faster and more efficient than trying to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So say you've made all your changes and you want to get it back into Adobe Premiere Pro, how on earth do you do that? Well, this is where you'd go into the file menu, export, and then you want to export to Adobe Premiere Pro to get it back in. And then it'll give you this dialog box with your sample rate and everything. Most things can be left as normal. You can export each track as a stem back into Adobe Premiere Pro so that you've got each track on individual tracks like you did before. Or in my case, if this is a finalization and mastering, we might just want to master stereo file and click open in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it opens the app back up for you. Click export. Give it a few moments to do uh, its magic. Maybe go and make yourself a cup of tea. 
It's going to mix down all of the changes you've made in levels, in plugins, everything. And within seconds, it'll say copy the active sequence and you want it on a new audio track or one of your existing tracks. I always say new track. And then boom, down below, we can solo this. All of the changes we've made to the overall mix appear here, down here. And it's really, really easy to go and edit original. If you click edit original, this is going to pop you back into your Adobe Audition multi-track. So you can see how you can now seamlessly go between Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition and have a seamless and professional audio workflow with these two apps. <laughs>